Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that ping button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's a loads of cool things down there. All right, so this week we've got the A6 Evo ride. So let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here is the brand new Evo ride from ASICS. I'm super excited to get this shoe finally on the channel. It's been out in the US for a little bit. Uh, why may you ask? Well, I'm a massive fan of its bigger, fatter brother, the Glide Ride. Why am I a fan of that shoe? Uh, I just love the um, technology with the guide sole technology, um, the flight foam in the midsole. It just, it just eats up miles and it makes it very, very effortless uh, when you are out there cruising along. You get a nice transfer of energy through the shoe. Um, as I say, the guide sole technology uh, with the flight foam, you just get that sort of responsiveness in the heel as a heel striker myself, and it transfers through real nice with the sort of meta rocker you get in it uh, with a stiffer forefoot. You just you just kick on it, and it's a great feeling when you're out there trying to eat up miles. What they've done with this shoe is they've made that shoe lighter. That is one of the only negatives of that shoe is the fact that it's quite heavy, 8.8 .8 ounces. You can just slip this on and you can just get out there and cruise at decent speed. And that's the thing that, that's really sort of taken my, uh, got my attention with this shoe, is the fact that I'm out there and I'm cruising along at decent speed effortlessly. And it's just great. And it reminds me of the uh, original Nike Zoom Fly. I don't know if you guys remember that shoe or you tried that shoe. They kind of lost their way with the other incarnations like the Zoom Fly 3, for example, which got quite heavy. It was a shoe that you could stick on and immediately it felt quite racy, but you could just crack on and get miles done. And this is what they've done here. It doesn't feel like an ASICS shoe, um, even though they've come a long way ASICS with regards to like the Nimbus 22 is a great improvement over the other, over the other ones. But where, the, where they're going with the direction of their shoes, especially in these, um, you know, like the Meta Ride, the Glide Ride and the Evo Ride, they're really going places. And I think this is one of their best shoes. I mean, I, that to me is their best shoe, but this is not far actually it's probably on par and, and why because you can just run in it and for me keeping it simple keeping it easy is what it's all about and 110 pound i know that is a lot of money in the scheme of things but when you're you know these days you're talking shoes from nike like 140 pound 150 pound uh, 110 pound i think this is a great value shoe that you just you just want to run fast in and it and it just like the asics um glide ride it just eats up miles but it eats up miles at pace you've got a decent upper in it as you'd expect you know engineered a mesh upper you've got lacing which is classic asics you've got a nice comfy tongue it's a bit thicker than you would probably want from a let's say a racier shoe the heel area like all asics is super comfortable it's not too much it's not too little um and the only, the only thing is with asics it's a slightly higher arch than say a nike but for me that's not a problem it is just a great shoe a great place to be at speed on the outsole you've got this sort of grippier outsole on it now and i was running in uh, as you saw in the b-roll i was running in tough conditions it's been a horrible weekend over here in the uk and i've been running it in these conditions um today for example i was running it and it was absolutely chucking it down but my feet didn't actually get too uh, too wet, which is a great sign as well. I know these are new, uh, so you'd hope there'd be a little bit more water ripple than they would be like in a year's time, but I didn't actually get that wet considering. But yeah, there's enough structure on the upper as well to give you a nice, decent bit of feel. They lock down really nice, but it's just that feeling of being out there. And, and as I say, you guys know what I'm talking about, where you put a pair of shoes on and you can just cruise along at speed. I mean, that's a great shoe to find. And, and, and that's the thing. The glide ride is amazing to get out there and hit long miles and just, like I say, you're just like a big cruise liner just going along. This thing is more like a, a, a Formula One car in the respects that you're going along at speed, but it just like, it's like effortless. You know where you see them on the TV and you don't know how they're doing those speeds, but they are, but they look comfortable or relatively comfortable. That's kind of, I mean, it's not a very good way to explain it, but you hopefully you understand what I'm saying. It's just... It's just a great shoe, guys. And, and I think really the only thing I can say to ASICS is, to be honest with you, is well done. Good job, boys. Good job.